哇，啊，我画啊，啊，我画啊，我又热，这边画一。I'm hello for your patience, everyone. Um, I uh. I had a phone call that I just had to, um, I had to, um, to, uh, yeah, I had a phone call. <laughs>
Hey, Rocco! Chris? Scarlet? Artsy? Lizzie? Adriana? Michaela? Just plain? Skeleton? Ken? Was dinner good? I had check on. So, how have we all been today? Got some hand lotion. Almost choked on a popcorn kernel. Quang quang. Is that is that what you're doing? So I always think quang quang. Hello, AJ. You got a bunch of snacks. What kind of snacks? Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, yo yo yo, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Alright, sorry, no, I just had to check. I have a bunch of Dars chocolate in the in the freezer. I forgot that I had all of that. That's awesome. <laughs> sorry. Pizza cone? What's a pizza cone? <sighs> the Skylar art you did. The Pog? I thought that was cool. Hang on. Hang on, I'll get on stream. Handwiches, what? What's a handwich? We have this image um, from from Banbuds and Doomy. Well, Doomy comed Banbuds for this. It's a Bunny Girl TC. Capture my biceps. <laughs> Hang on, I need to post this. I need to post stream on Twitter. Zam. <laughs> Why am I more ripped than the Hulk? I'm not more ripped than the Hulk. I have biceps. Law arc where I go through all of the field guide refer variants. That I would need so many, so many um, uh, sprite sheets for that. <laughs> I haven't even finished the D sides one. Bring all the tomboy accountants to the yard. <laughs> I have Tavia. I have the he the head. Why am I built like a raisin? What's that supposed to mean? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, that's Skylar's reaction. Skylar Polk. <laughs> yeah, what kind of raisins are you eating? Like, buff raisins. Like... <laughs> Garcello references. More like... 
car, Cello. Like my car. Ha ha. My car was smoking today. Everyone shares the same brain cell when it comes to my car smoking, yeah. Vroom vroom, little man. That's Carcello. I'm raising some dumbbells at the gym, more like. <laughs> Would I count the bunny drawing as a separate TC or the same as the original TC? I mean, like, I am TC. Oh, you mean, like, is this, like, a variant for the field guide? It can be. Hope this TC fan out. What what's your problem? You got shilly. <laughs> what, huh? Kin thinks that like my abs with the color of like the the um the um the the uh the the sh the shirt leotard is that leotard but the the thing he thinks that because of the color with my abs it looks like a race. <laughs> No. No, it's not a raisin. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. A burnt pit. When I have the suit magenta or navy blue, I don't wear purple. SM hates your head. Yeah. Let's get the field guide up. Like stream if you haven't yet, by the way. We have 10 likes and 24 viewers! Maybe we should leave that on the stream. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe, uh, consider becoming a channel member so that, um, I can afford to, to, to keep my car. Maybe we shouldn't leave it? Time to get bunny suit VTuber commissioned. Consider becoming a channel member so we can get a bunny girl VTuber. Okay.
maybe we can um try and like when we do Pokemon, maybe we can do like um we can look for like a shiny low pony or like a shiny score bunny. Can I say Pog in the Skylar voice? <clears throat> Pog. Say Poggers. There you go. Don't think that would be family friendly. It'd be fine. Friday Night Funkin isn't family friendly. This is not a family friendly stream. Now, now, my dear! We can't be having any of that foul language here! Oh yeah, I was getting the field guide, wasn't I? <laughs> Here we go. Been lying to you for three years, I'm sorry. Do you want a refund of your membership? We can't have it. <laughs> I spent it already. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. So, okay. I think, hang on, we're gonna, let's just do this. Let's do this. This is easier. If we do this. Whoa. There we go. Whoa. We can hide these two. Whoa. On this. Give me, give, give, hello, hello. There we go. Okay. Bruh. Where is this image? What is going on? Here we go, okay. Hokai. The DDLC sprite? I can add that. Maybe I'll add that. I'll add that at some point. Like, DDLC styled. Okay, you got the TC! Field guide! So you got the regular. The F and F. B sides is Tavia. D sides. Temporal cupcakes. A time traveler from a bad future. B play. Titanium cupcakes. Soft, timid cupcakes. It's based off of my um, my casual wear it for my DDLC sprites, but it's also that in turn is a reference to my um, um, my Splatoon two gear that I had on my Octoling. Uzi, yeah, no, that's the joke. Gacha, I think Furugo made this Gacha one. T the, 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 the tiny cupcakes. <laughs> That's the Genshin one, Traveler cupcakes, which Rui made. The Gallant one, which Banbuds also made, so we have the duality. Did I make what that? Wait, um. Lullaby. Soft TC's missing her hoodie? No, she's not. It's just hidden behind the hair. I definitely added the hood. There is a hood there, but you can't... You can't, um... No, it's not small TC, that's tiny TC. These size TC is Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. No, it's not. <laughs> Lullaby, I don't think I finished this, the spray sheet. Guys, so like, as far as the like, edits go, I'm really proud of the Tavia sprite. The speakers? 
I've got a, I've got Inkling and Octolings. We've got Kazooie, Stock Icon, the Extra Life. Did I make the Soft TC? Yes. I don't know why I got that. Um, got the the gay flag. Um, minus. Angelique. Might redo this at some point. Paper Jam Pack. I was in the background, as cameo. Kin did this fun Lethal Company one. How similar TC and Tactical Cupcakes looks. What's behind my shoe? Oh, that's a good question, actually. I'm gonna have to... Procrastinating streamer starts stream late, watches own content. I'm gonna have to watch my own content to see, um... To see what, what is on the speakers. Oh, it's it's the brand. It's the brand for um for for um the hat my, for the bubble hat Splatoon. It's the brand for the Splatoon hat for the bubble hat. Hang on. There you go. Yeah, it's like the, the, the edge of the N. There. Yeah, the Heather's one. I thought I did a good edit of this, considering the original wears a skirt. You didn't see that one? Wait, you didn't see which one? What's the under of my shoes look like? I mean, like, shoes. <laughs> you had the plush one that's based off of the Omori plush. Docky fit. Oh, the logo. Yeah. Well, because a, a, a lot of the time I'm sitting on top. But yeah, no, it's the logo for, um, for the brand that, um, yeah. There's the older uh, villainy sheets. I gave myself my missing finger. Pixel. Another pixel from Hating School. S hating sim Hating School. Hating Simulator School Conflict. It's me doing a, a John Kazama kick. It's me, Cupcane! Ha ha! I might change this to be the um the art that Inkzilla did. Mm. Inkzilla did a uh, did a butt of return of um I think it's called No Party. It's like the piracy one. Um and um There was like a custom art of me as Cupcane. So I might like I might add this instead as like the picture for Cupcane. This one here. Look at that. That's so good. My only like minor grip or gripe is um if I was wearing heels, I'd probably have cropped trousers. But um otherwise amazing artwork here. So they had me so like, oh, that's what you get for being a dirty pirate! It's so good though, look at that! That's so good! You have the um the the Pokemon like Gen 4 style sprite. Which is an edit of um of Tavia's sprites. 
Um, that's the old... Is that older moving grief? Be yeah, unlifting. It's the Undertale sheet. Vinxy made the school conflict, I think. No, the... well, Vinxy owns school conflicts. I don't know who the pixel artist was. I did ask, but um, they I was told that they wanted to be anonymous. So fun fact: the 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 Undertale sheet should be in the but every turn of uh, on oh, the but every turn blah, and the Data Minus Paradise of uh, Muted Melodies remastered, and the full sheet is in there. There's like there's multiple frames. There's the hands of verse one. They gave me a t-shirt instead of like my sleeves rolled up, but um, they made me thick as well. Like <laughs> moving group. Oh no 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 no. Um, Aku didn't do the art. Aku does own the um the mod though. Omori style. I did the Dead Estate edit, the tiny, tiny one in the top left corner there. That is, um, like how the, the size of the actual sprite. And I made it bigger so, you know, you could actually see it. Epiphany sheet. Uh, bosses HD sheet. I do still really like this sprite. And I'm really, I'm really glad that like, um, that the, um, the stuff around boss turned out to not be true. Cause like, I do really like that art style. I do still really like this sprite. And hi, hey, hey, it's me. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's the field guide. Bunny girl TC jump scare. What? <laughs> All right. Okay. Stop. Okay. Rip Neo TC. Epiphany sprite was made by Lily. Yeah, that's true. Some point, HD is just my old sprites. Well, yeah, but they were drawn in the style of the old HD senpai. 17 bucks, TC. I can't afford that. At some point, I need to, like, add all of the credits to, um... Don't take that out of context. Too late. I've been streaming for like 36 minutes. I haven't even done anything. We've got like 24 viewers. <laughs> Found a very good Neo TC edit. Wait, what? Send. That's how you do it. Up, down. Here we go. I'll give you the sound bite. <clears throat> Left, right, up, down. That's how you do it. There you go. Me in the style of Ghost and Molly McGee. Oh, that would be so cool. Or like the Owl House as well. Those two would be cool. Streamer does nothing, gets very famous, watch his own content. <laughs> XQC in nutshell. Draw Chris in the King DDD art style. Okay, I found Hansiverse. So we can play that. 
Should I add the, uh, the Pomnisi that, um, that, um, that Farugo did? Hold on a minute, I gotta get the video game on the video screen. Yeah, I know we can't see the game. <laughs> I know, I just booted it up, give me a moment. <laughs> So whoever was asking about, um, what's Hansi vs TC, here you go. I'll rip FCA. This is such a good song, that's true. Yeah, that's uh, Hans vs. TC. I love you. Love it when I get recognition. Same. A very good way to get me to play your FNF mod is if you give me a cameo in it. Michael and Eileen, yeah. Cup Kian. Oh, Roaring Moon? Oh, based. Um, hold on a moment. Let... If a skibbity toilet mod put me as a cameo, 
I'd uh, file a cease and desist. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Um, is this going to be like, oh, t TC plays mods that, today, uh, today, I bought every Friday Night Funkin' mod. <laughs> I'm just going like, to play like a bunch of mods where I cameo in them. We actually haven't played No Escape in a while. Well, we actually haven't had No Escape on screen in a long time. <laughs> Lunala Treat. Should probably catch Nebby. Maybe that's what we'll do. Shall we boot up Pokemon? And we'll catch Nebby. A uh, Shokian. Yeah, petit feu. Yeah, that's that. Um, that's that's what one of my um my um uh, my my um <clears throat> my um Yu-Gi-Oh monsters is based off of the based off of petit feu. I'm a dolce petit sister. Yeah, the Medolce, yeah, there's... Pe All of the Medolce's names are based on puns. Like, there's the... There's the royalty, there's the working class, and then the pets. The royalty and the working class, they... Their names are all based on... They're just, like, puns and, like, their profession or title. And the, the pets, their names are based on the noise they make. Like this, like Crufcent, which is a. Hang on, no. Let's see, we'll do, do. We'll do. We'll get this on. We'll get this on the screen. I'm gonna get this on the screen. Oh, I thought I could maybe just get like a gallery of the, the Medolce. Hang on, I know. We'll go to the Yu-Gi-Oh card database. Here we go. Okay. So we got Madolce Hoot Cake, which I do play. Um, can I make this bigger? What? Hello? Oh, I see. Okay. So I made like I had like the waiting screen. I just like overlaid it, but bigger.
professional streamer. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. So I play my Dolce Hoot Cake in my deck. Um, and that's obviously a pun on like hot cakes and hoot. Um, we have Cruffsant, which is like dogs, like, you no, know, like rough. Like dogs, they go like rough, rough. Dolce Nice is not a pun. Here we go, Melange Petit Cecile, which is a pun on like Petit Four. Put princess and like Sir is like it's like French for sister, so she's like the little sister. And we have a Melange Chevalier, it's like cavalier or chivalry. Pudding Cess, another really good card in the deck. Modolce Salon, another very good card. Promenade, very good card. Ticket, pretty much required for the deck. Messen Gelato, like Gelato and these me Messenger. Now this one's a bit weird, because it's by Paul, but it, it's supposed to be a pun on maple rather than apple. I'm not sure why they went with this one for, for by Paul. By Paul, but yeah. Medulce Waltz. Butler Rusk. You look, he's standing on a rusk. Oh yeah, you might have noticed, but most of them, they stand on... A jigsaw piece, which makes this the perfect deck for me. They're made of puns, desserts, and jigsaws. Yeah, Rusk, it's kind of like a hard, like, waffle kind of thing. But I love this card so much. Butler Rusk is, like, my secret tech. Um, his effect lets you, um, on his normal summon, whilst you control another Medulce, you can add another... You can add any field spell from your deck to your hand. And I usually add um, Secret Village of the Spellcasters, which makes it so that if you control a spellcaster and your opponent doesn't, they can't add, they can't activate any spell cards. And it's always like... People will always, like, you know... They, like, you know... Pick up and, like, read Butler Rusk, and then they'd realize that, oh yeah, it doesn't have to be the Medulce field spell. It can just be any field spell. Love that card so much. Butler Rusk is the goat. Look at this man's. Look at him. Look how posh he is. Look how proper this man's is. Always side deck Madoche Butler Rusk. We have Modolce and Jelly. Very pivotal card for the deck. Chickalots. It's the one like outlier of the deck. It's like it, it, they, they, it's not like the the sound they make. We have Marmal Maid, who. I think her book is titled Medulce Manners. She's unfortunately not very good in the deck. Like, this is a good effect, but it's just really slow, unfortunately. She's cute, though. Medulce Chateau. Incredible card. Mew Fae! There's Mew Fae! It's a cat! It's Mew Fae. He's a baby.
He's got... Oh, oh my god, I just noticed. He's got a little hat. Oh my god. I didn't even realize. I didn't realize that... Can you see my mouse cursor? You can. I didn't realize that this here was like a feather on top of like a... Like a... Like a... Like a hat. That's so cute. That's adorable. I didn't realize that he had like a, um... Oh gosh. A cavalier hat? With like a fluffy, like a fluff? That's adorable. Madolce lesson? Aha! Now here we go. Madolce Majlen. The actual goat of the deck. Of the, of the main deck, at least. Madolce Match Len is one of the best cards in the entire deck. She... It, okay, so I'm going to have to explain what card advantage is, okay? So, obviously, the pun on Mad Lens, uh, which you can see on the end of her, like, her fork broom, which is very cute. Um, card advantage is, like, when you play a card... Like, okay, so... In Yu-Gi-Oh, you start the game with five cards in your hand, right? If you play a card to your field, then it's it's a net zero in card advantage, right? Because card advantage is basically how many cards you have available to you. If you discard a card, that's a minus one, right? Because you're losing one card and you have four left, right? If you start with five cards, and you play like a spell card that says discard a card to like, you know, destroy your opponent's card, right? That's a minus one in card advantage because you're destroying your opponent's card, you're discarding your spell card that you just used, and also the one card that you're discarding, right? Um, I also just noticed that the background of the getting ready screen is still... There we go. Um, Pot of Greed is what's called a plus one because it's to draw it says draw two cards right so you trade the one pot of greed to draw two so the first draw replaces the pot of greed so that's a net zero so you've got five cards and then you have the plus one from the pot of greed the draw so you have six match len can give you a plus 13 if played correctly which is very easy to do. No, I think she can give a plus eight, but you can get like about 13 cards out of your deck. Like, I actually have, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go take a picture of this because I don't wanna like turn on my camera, but I have a first edition PSA 10 of Madolce Magellan. Okay, I made sure to like cover- Ah, uh, good eye! <laughs> I made sure to cover up my face um, when I took the pictures. I literally just like pulled my shirt up over my face. <laughs> so yeah, Manchelan, when she's summoned, um, you can just add a Madolce monster, any Madolce monster from your deck to your hand. So the combo is, I wonder if I have Wygo Pro up and I could like just play through the combo. No, no, I gotta stop getting sidetracked. <laughs> Here we go. So I have, this is a one of one, by the way. This is the only one that exists. 
Um, see, gem mint 10 of, uh, we'll get to this card in a bit, but it's like the boss monster of my day. It's my favorite card. And as a first edition PSA 10 Madolce Magellan. It's first edition. Stella card. Like, so, okay, so the combo is you get Magellan to get you, um, Petty Sasir. Because if you have no monsters in your graveyard, um, you can just special her from your hand. And then if she's specialed, you can summon another Modulture monster from your hand or deck, except herself, but decrease its level by one. And you would get Pudding Sess here, who's level five. She'd become level four. So then you have two level fours that you can overlay to make a rank four Ixies monster. And then you can climb into Chocolate Ala Mode, this one. And while she has this one, as material, you can do a bunch of shenanigans. Dunala's cool in design. Agreed. It's much better than Sogaleo. Like, Nebi... Like, Cosmog into Cosmoam definitely looks like it's supposed to evolve into Lunala. Okay, now extra deck cards. Madolce Fresh Sistart. See? I knew, I knew that sister was a sister of the cloth. It's in her name. I played this card. My Dolce Fresh Sistart. There's even like... Wait, Chris, do all of the... Uh, Neopold. <laughs> do all of the... Uh, I, I haven't actually done any of the legendary encounters in Scar Violet. Do they have their um, original battle themes? Here we go. Modolce putting says chocolate a la mode. There she is. So my boss monster of my deck. This is another like one of my favorite cards. Modolce Queen Tiara Masu. Look at the smug anime girl energy. She also has one of the best removal effects in the entire game. Um so, there are a lot of powerful cards in Yu-Gi-Oh that are flat up, flat, flat up, flat out immune to card effects that destroy or banish cards or effects that target cards, right? So if you have a card that says target this card, destroy it, there's a lot of boss monsters that are immune to destruction effects or immune to targeting effects. Queen Tiaramasu here does not target and does not destroy or banish. She just shuffles into the deck. She has one of the best removal effects in the entire history of the game. And she is only balanced by the fact that she requires Madolce monsters to summon her. And she doesn't have any like on-field protection herself. But the fact that she can just spin like any, and it can be monsters or spells or traps as well. It, and the best part is, because of how her effect is worded, it happens on resolution of the effect. So your opponent can't like activate their cards in response to you designating them to be shuffled back. Because you can't activate a new effect whilst an effect is currently resolving. So if they want to do anything, they have to do it proactively or preemptively or in response to the declaration of the effect and she even recycles your cards tag up the two modolce in your graveyard you get them back to your deck or if you have chateau they go to your hand and then you can just spin your opponent's cards and this is not a uh, hard once per turn so if you can summon her multiple times in a turn you can do this this is once per turn 
per copy of tiramisu you have as well. So if you get three tiramisus on board, you can spin up to six of your opponent's cards. Glass Souffle is a very good card as well. She's the more defensive one. Yeah, Tiara Masu. Yeah, it's a pun. Um, during either player's turn, you can make one of your Medulce cards, which can include herself, unaffected by any other monster effects. And also, if a card's sent from the field to the graveyard, um, this doesn't target either. You can shuffle up to two cards from either graveyard into the deck. So this can include your own cards, or if your opponent is setting up their graveyard, you know, like if they're discarding a monster, then use like Monster Reborn to summon. You can just spin it back to their deck, so they no longer have the Monster Reborn target. Very good card. Wait, there's more? Is there more? Ah, Madoshi Palooza. Tea break. You got Pudding Sass, Butler Usk, and Magellan. I say like what what are some of my other like favorite cards? Um Underworld Goddess of the Closed World is a very powerful card as well that I really like. This one here, right? So she's a rare light fiend, right? And she does require five monsters, which is pretty significant. It's like four plus. However, the um the trade-off is that you can use one of your opponent's monsters to summon her. And using a monster as material is not a card effect, so that's not something they can be immune to. And Modulci are very good at just putting a bunch of bodies on board, so if you just like put like four monsters and your opponent's got like this big boss monster that you're scared of, you can just use that to then make your own Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. And her effect, she's immune to any card effects. Unless they target. Alright, good night, Kian. See, look, this Link Summoned card is unaffected by your opponent's activated effects unless they target. So that includes spells and traps, as well as monster effects. So as long as they do not target. So she is immune to stuff like Raigeki or Mirror Force. Obviously, people don't really play those cards anymore, but um, those are like older cards that people might know about. Um. And also, just as a funny effect, if your opponent tries to activate a card or effect that special summons a monsters from either graveyard, you can just negate it. Good card! <laughs> yeah, I like this card a lot. She combos very well with uh, IP Mascarina. IP Mascarina. The opponent's main phase, you can link with her. But the more important part is this bottom one. A link monster that is used this as material cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. So that just gives... If you summon... I've had um, really fun games is when your opponent summons this. And then I've summoned my... Underworld Goddess of the Closed World using my opponent's Mascarina. So then that gets rid of their Mascarina. And it also makes it so that my Underworld Goddess of the Closed World is immune to destruction effects, including those that do target. Good card! Yeah. I think Mascarina has like an alternate art as well. Yeah. Gaming. I 
Oh, Summer Sorceress, I heard, got a Arata. So she's probably going to be unbanned. I think someone you can special. Oh, they must not have updated the text here. I think they errated her text so that she, um... You can only summon, like, monsters of one type in the turn that you summon her. Or you use her effect, I think. OCG ban list. Yeah, no, she recently got Narata so that, um, she's a bit nerfed. So, um, without the nerf, she's stupidly powerful. <laughs> yeah, she just, like, spits out monsters. Is Karibo banned? Karibo's not banned. Who's <laughs> the TCG ban list? Maxi level eater. Are oh, they banned this thing? Neat. Are oh, they banned scythe? Cool. You admit you're lost. That's okay. Oh, I forgot they banned this thing. That's so awesome. This thing sucks. <laughs> Let me just look at funny card art. Oh damn, yeah, no, this was powerful. I have- I- I've been like- I- I have most of these. For a while I've been like collecting like... Um... Trying to have like a living- like a living dex, like having like a living ban list. So like if anything comes off the ban list... Wait. Yet. Oh, this card. Crystal and Hug of Fibrax. Um, you might have heard it as Needle Fiber as well. This card is st stupid. Le this card is absolutely broken. Like, there are so many cards that were on the ban list purely so this would not get banned. Silly card. This one's also a very silly card. Good thing that these two are banned. The other one should be there. Delinquent duo is very silly. These two are very silly. Silly and sillier. Me when I'm feeling silly. So Heavy Storm destroys all spells and traps on a field, except Harpy's Feather Duster only destroys the opponents, and you might be wondering why this is banned if it's got that, that downside, but you, there are a lot of cards that are ba that you get benefits from if they're destroyed. So you can just like set a bunch of those. Last Will is really silly, it's like one of the oldest cards in the game. What is bait by Band Mystic Mine? This card is really stupid. There's Chicken Game. Hey, there's Pog of Greed. Painful Choice is one of the is probably the most broken card in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! And unless I if you don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, you have to return your sister's phone call so you beat FK a bit. Um, okay, well, let me know when you're back. You choose five cards from your deck. You show them all to your opponent. Your opponent chooses one of them to get to put to your hand. And then the rest are sent to the graveyard. Setting up your graveyard in Yu-Gi-Oh! has always been powerful. But um, even if you don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, oh, here's that grass looks greener. This card is pretty much banned just because it it can make an, an unending game. You ever heard of Fun Bro in Pokemon? This card here is Fun Bro, the card. 
Um, it makes it so that if there's a difference of more than 7,000 life points between um, both players, um, both players' life points become zero. So it just it forces a draw. Yeah, it just forces a draw. What we got tonight once we read over the ban list? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this card got an errata to nerf it, and it was still too broken. This last turn is really silly. I, because like, I'm 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 a, a accredited judge in Yu-Gi-Oh, so like I know like rulings and stuff. Um, I've I tried like writing like like a a modernized like because they've changed like how text is right in the game. So I tried like writing out like you know what the new text for this card would be in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. There are at least eight clauses that are not written on this card that you just have to know. I think that's the only reason this thing is banned. Because, um... It, um... It's, it's just a ruling nightmare. I think that's the only reason why this thing is banned. It's, it's just a ruling nightmare. Red Reboot. I really wish this wasn't banned. I love this card. <laughs> this card being banned killed blue eyes. Return from the different dimension. Uh, you pay half your life points and you special summon as many of your banished monsters as possible. Rongo, Rongo Mini Ad. A lot of people called this Rongo Bongo. Um, this card is immensely silly. So this card, 1500, right? Two or more, a maximum of five level four warrior monsters. Unless you just cheese out, there's a couple of cards that let you just like put a bunch of like cards on top of them. And then you would, I think Shadow Mist was the card? You just like build up this Xyz monster with like a ton of material, which would then let you put this thing on top of it. So let's look, it gains effects based on how many materials it has, right? Um, and during each of your opponent's end phases, you detach a material. So the first effect is cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay, so it's got one material. Two materials, it gains three, so it's 3,000 attack and defense, right? Three plus, unaffected by other card effects. That is an insanely powerful effect. Just a blanket effect immunity is incredible. On a 3,000 body. Four, your opponent cannot normal or special summon monsters. So you have this big thing, which is immune to battle destruction, is immune to monster effects, is on a 3k body, and also your opponent can't play the game. Also five, once per turn you can just destroy all cards. Not all monsters, all cards your opponent controls. Which, it can't be negated by the way, because it's immune, it's unaffected by other card effects. So even if you had cards on the field to negate this effect, <laughs> you, you can't. <laughs> Because it's unaffected by other card effects. What great, good card design. <laughs> okay, last one. Last one I'm going to talk about. Before we uh, like actually play a game. True King of All Cal Calamities. Its JP name was VFD. I forget what that stands for, but in English, the meme was to call it Very Fun Dragon. 
Quick effect just means you can use it during either player's turn, right? Detach a material, declare one attribute. This turn, all face up monsters on the field become the attribute. Also, all monsters in your opponent's possession with the attribute cannot activate their effects or attack. So the key thing... The key thing about this wording is... It's retroactive. So even if your opponent, if even if you, if, so if your opponent controls this, they activate it. It's not, it doesn't just change the attributes of the monsters you currently control and prevent them from using their effects or attacking. It also applies to anything that you put on the board after it has used the effect. Very silly card. <laughs> Oh, one, okay, one more, one more, one more now. One more, literally, seriously, one more, and then, then I'll stop. This card here was what made playing um, Blue Eyes White Dragon really good, because you could make this thing really easily. 4,000 body, by the way. Um, it's effect... is... <clears throat> It doesn't even matter. Like this second effect, you detach one so it can attack up to two. Uh, it can make it can attack twice. That's a neat effect, but that doesn't even matter. The on summon effect doesn't even need to resolve. Okay. When this card is summoned, you can send three dragon type monsters with different names from your deck to the graveyard. Semicolon. The important thing is that the semicolon indicates that this right here is a cost. It's not even the effect. And we mentioned with Painful Choice how sending cards to your graveyard to set up combos is useful, yeah? So your opponent cannot negate, they, they can't stop you because it's not an effect, it's a cost to activate the effect. And the combo you would do is that you would summon, you would send, um, is it Felgrand Dragon? No, what was it? Oh shoot, I forgot. I forgot what the card was. There's a card that you would summon. You'd send to your graveyard and be like, next standby phase, you can summon a level seven or higher dragon from your graveyard. And you would summon uh or the next standby phase. You summon a Morphage Goliath with it. Oh, armor phage. This one. Neither player can special from the extra deck. So that is where your fusions, your spells trap. No, your spells. Your fusions, your ixies, your links, your synchros come from. Which a lot of decks nowadays, that's where their main bosses are. So it it's a huge lockout card. But then the Thunder Dragon players had to ruin our fun and abuse the uh, Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon so that then the Blue Eyes players couldn't use it anymore. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I should probably do something, shouldn't I? For like an hour and 20 minutes, I played like one FNF song. <laughs> Pokemon time? Let's play some Dead Estate. What do I think of making my own card game? I tried as a wee lass. I tried making a card game. Somewhere I must have like the um the originals.
I never played FNF. Yeah, I did. I played Hansiverse. I literally played Hansiverse. No, there hasn't been a new update, I just wanted to play the video again. After this, I'll probably play Pokemon. Where are we dropping, boys? <laughs> Who plan as? I'm so proud of myself for making this mod. Hey Smegel. Oh fuck. Popping in before work. Oh look at Bonk. <laughs> we could try doing an I Isaac run as well. Making the mother of all omelets here. Can't fret over every egg. <laughs> this isn't Saucy Jack. Do I think FNF is coming this year? The full game? Probably not. Some kind of update? Maybe.
What do you mean? My health for the tent. To sleep for work. See, also, why did I drop cold? The lamb did not click. Yeah, like, it's... It's, yeah, no, it, um, it just kind of didn't click. I think that makes your bullets homing, but we have punch, so we can't really home with punch. I changed it to say feeling poorly. Oh damn. Wish I had full health, I'd give more money. Funny metal. <laughs> Donch. So much. So much. You feel odd when seeing a Cordelia mimic? How so? Oh, hi, cute guy. Oh, Jesus. How there's like a, a there's a difference between and big damage. <laughs> Making a mother of all armors here. Can't fret over every egg. Oh yeah, I forgot that shops are free. We should go to the, um... Um... To the, uh, to the, the nurse again. And just get damage up. You're fine, Sorin. You have to, you have to apologize for that. Why does that be omelettes? It's a saying. <clears throat> it's basically saying like, you know, like, you're going to annoy some people, like, if you do some, like... It's like you have to break some, you, you have to break a few eggs to make an omelette. It's like you have to do some things you might not want to do to accomplish something. We have big damage now. We're going to be doing big damage. How would you change the expression to like to to be to be pasta themed? He, he just can't do it. Just can't can't get it close enough. Just can't do it. 
What an idiot. <laughs> Punched. <laughs> Are these free as well? Oh, they're not. Bye -bye. How it feels to chew five gum. Weapons. 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 Bye bye. A girlfriend song. Girlfriend song. Interesting. Girlfriend song. How it feels to chew five gum. Sack room, you know what that means. Ah, <laughs> oh, rip. Unfortunately. Well, I think what we should do... We can do a couple of things. I am gonna... I'm going to boot up Pokemon. Um, we could try and get... Um, so, like, in relation to... Um, would they be daily escapades? <laughs> we could either do Violet... I figure out something. Or we could try and get a shiny low punny or Boneri in Legends Arceus. Because, um... In Violet, I'd probably, like, try and get a shiny Gumi. Low punny. So it fully committed to the to the to the to the bunny girl thing earlier. Nickelodeon, you pick! Have I ever nicknamed a Pokemon One Airy? Uh, no, but um, maybe Chris could. Hatten, I already have that. Well, I'll show you. I boot this up to, 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 to show.
I supposedly have a bug might. I have an Avalog now. Beep, beep. Game's not showing. Damn. Unprofessional streamer. <laughs> Give me a moment. A spicy sandwich from Wendy's. What sandwich powders did you get? So all we need is a roaring moon and a beast ball. And we'll have them all. I'm curious to see like how some of these walk. We'll let the uh we'll let the pole like cook a bit more. Synchro machine, some of these, see how they walk. Oh, it flies! Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh lord, she come! <laughs> Punch. little fangs. I wish there was like a reason to use this. Like there's really no like purpose to to the synchro machine. There's no like um like productive reason.
had Raiko but long. Oh, whoa. wanted to know how cruel is this prank? A green and brown chocolate coloured that is mistaken for mint chocolate and for the mint to be avocado. Oh that's 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 cruel. I love mint chocolate. Oh damn, I'm sorry. I'm sorry dealing. Hello there. Giraffe rig third form. Oh, perfect timing, Chris. I don't suppose I could um, bug you for a roaring moon. So apparently, uh, eons before uh, the Pokeballs were made, we have this thing. But it, it hops. It doesn't walk. I thought it would walk, but it hops. Oh no, okay. When... It plods. Look at that. <laughs> Punch. That's so weird. Punch! Oh, what? Oh, right, yeah, you do it in the overworld, don't you? Try and catch a Lunala in the Beast Ball? That's a good shout. I usually try and catch them in Moon Ball, but Beast Ball's a good shout. Mastodon fan's a great name, Mahalo. What are these Pokemon? Are they Paradox Pokemon? So Scarlet gets like super ancient, like, Pokemon. Violet gets robot Pokemon. Must outbreaks of adorable Pokemon. So why do they look like that? Because they're like ancient. They're prehistoric. Immunity to fate prevents me from using bot play. Well, I don't use bot play. I don't like it. <laughs> and suddenly, Raptor Suicune, because why not? <laughs> god, that's fast! Oh my god! Walk on water. Can it swim? No, it can't swim. It can only it can run on water though.
check out some of the uh, past paradox one, or the future ones, sorry. So we've already seen, that's probably just going to flow and we've seen that one already. Tiny this thing is. It's so small. Dun, 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 dun. Barely bigger than a dealing. <clears throat> Rolling around at the speed of sound. <laughs> I really wish there was like a productive reason to use synchro mode. It's so silly. Like skis. Bonk. Bonk. See it walking. There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just gonna do the um the Swords of Justice um minus Keldeo, I guess. Look at her walking. Fashion, fashion, walk, walk. She skates. She skates? I did Can she swim? Let's find out. Oh, nope. <laughs> she sunk like a rock. Look at that! You see that with the blades.
in Law's like Pokemon teams, I had given Update a um a Iron Leaves, and it the Iron Leaves was like really like whimsical and like jolly, and like it was like a mount to like ride on. The boulder. Whoa! I wish you could jump. It's got like hooves. Do you see that? It's got hooves. Got like actual hooves. What? What the hell was that? Oh, huh. Okay. <laughs> Ninety-five dollar game, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> The blades! She gets like a horn! Do it again! Do it again! Do it again! Bruh, do it, do it, do it! There you go! Look at that! That's so cool! New sub! Get the horn! Brandon, mahalo for the sub! POV, you're like a, a cupcake. POV, you're a sandwich. Alright, I'll stop messing around. We'll do the, um, we'll do the, uh, the, 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 the link. <laughs> beep, beep. Something else I want to test is like if I can like save in front of one and then like turn off and then catch it. I want to test that as well because that could save on um, beast balls. Would I be more surprised to see a fairy or a walrus on my doorstep? I mean, probably a fairy, because I'd, there'd be a question of like, how they got here. Walrus couldn't even fit on my doorstep. I don't even have a doorstep. <laughs> right, I'll see. Scarmory. I'd be surprised to see a rain on your doorstep. I would, because I don't have one. 
What if the fairy was a fae? Well, by definition, it would be. Alright, let's go. Ooh, hello. Mouse hold. It's a shame Artsy was leaving just as we found a Duskull outbreak. Oh, that could be one to go for as well. Because of Braviary. I think dragon because dark could make um um iron jugular spawn I and mean, unless you want that of course it would be up to you because if you wanted it to like make both spawn then um uh iron jugular would spawn with a dark sandwich so I'll make it your call. The iron. It valiant. Um. Let's go with dragon then. What do I mean my car was smoking? I mean my car was expelling smoke. Um. Oh, I should probably get the recipe, shouldn't I? I was, I was putting oil in the car, I spilled some oil. I think that, um... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking it up right now. I spilled some oil, like, I'm so, yeah, smoking. Okay, so, what we need, let me just look this up. Is... Just to each, each of us gonna pick avocado, and I'm gonna pick butter. Are you willing to contribute herb, Tristafe? Um, then uh. One spicy and one salty, please. And the fun part is... Yes, yes, avocado for you as well. Only one piece of avocado needs to land on the sandwich. We can add the others, it won't make a difference. But if you want to throw them away, that will also work too. But a single slice of avocado needs to be on the bread at minimum. But if we have all six on there, it will be fine.
butter. Avocado toast. Those crazy millennials with their avocado toast. <laughs> I guess it, it, it is on there. Yeah, we're not even looking for the shiny today, we're just looking for the, the Doragon. What? What? Shiny sh I read those as shiny socks. Shiny Sandy Shocks. I'm I'm really glad that Sandy Shocks is Magneton as well, rather than um Magnezone. Because I like Magneton a lot more than Magnezone. I do wish it was still steel type, though. They spawn at the very bottom now as well. Yeah, I remember seeing an Iron Valiant there as well. But I remember there being like a special area where like they would America? <laughs> Can't express elevated to the bottom. I'll race you. I mean, you're, you're probably gonna get there before me, but... I found a no tusk. No tusks. Medium tusks. <laughs> Medium tusk. And no tusk. Hello, Banjo. Go ho, go ho, go ho. Whoa. None task left ground. Ooh, that's interesting. I forgot that Gibble and, um, and, um, Dinos, Vilas, and Hydreigon. So spawn. Looking around for clues. I'm here on the scene. I probably should have. Oh, whoa, hello. I probably should have taken the uh, the lift as well. I'm not sure where I'm going. The entrance of the time machine. Oh, like the very, very bottom. Like the indigo disc. Where we put the indigo disc, where it was literally like a CD. Here we go. Some gibble. Oh, Zvilus, that's a uh, version exclusive. Oh, yo. I want to try and get one with a title. That is wild. Look at that guy. Oh lord, he coming. <laughs> it 
It's got like feathers. Yeah, but it's not shiny, is it? No, it's not. Okay. I know there's a cave that like makes them like isolated spawns. Actually, I don't know if they're isolated for for dragon, but I know like you can make iron valiants an isolated spawn. For fairy. Wanna try the cave? Yeah, let's go to the cave. Let's do some caving. Station 3? I think so! Assuming that's 3... Yeah, it's near it's near this entrance, I think. You go like through here and then like it's behind like some of these rocks. Yeah, it's in here. Yeah, in in Viola, if you have a fairy sandwich, it isolates uh, it makes some um, isolated encounters for um for Iron Valiant. these like crop circles were for. There's so many like things they just didn't expand on. I think when there's, there's only one future fairy type, but there's like multiple few like past fairies. I think Iron Jug yeah there's Iron Jugulus if you needed that. There's a couple of them here. They're dark and flying type. Near the entrance. I guess you if you don't want to attack them, you could like leap on or like if you don't want them to attack you, you could like leap onto a wall. <laughs> Partner Marco. <laughs> oh, this thing has takedown, doesn't it? Oh. 
No tail, damn. First of all, fine, bye, bye. Hostile Pokemon. <laughs> right, what we got? Okay. Social is kind of boring title, but. Got it, that's neat. Excuse me? What? Oh, rip. <laughs> Where is Chansey's coming from? I guess the dragon type Chansey. That wasn't even a Grievid, it was just a candle in the ground. <laughs> Near entrance. Now that I'm a VTuber, collab with Shy Lily. Oh yeah, I'll do that, yeah. Because they know who I am and they'd be willing to just collab with a random person. But what does that mean? Oi. Oh, what a great attack animation. $95 game, by the way. <laughs> Crop circles, they, they're cropping. Bye, bye, bye. No, I want you to explain it to me. And if you're uncomfortable explaining it to me... Then what makes you think I would be comfortable... Bro, what? They are all the sociable. The uncommon mark. This is the most common mark I've got. <laughs> hey, there we go. We got it. Bye, baby. I don't want to like try and catch it in another beast ball because like, that could be like ages. It's 
say do you know what say so means? Hang on, I wanna Actually don't wanna test it. How much okay. Um I don't wanna like waste the sandwich, but I wanna test something. Is that okay? I wanna see if I if I reset if that's still gonna be there. So do you mind if I, like, turn off my game? Is that okay? Okay. Because if true... We can check what title it has before we catch it. You have something for me to say. Oh, do you? <laughs> okay. Ah, rip. That's fine. That's okay. I'm okay with this outcome. Because we have, I got a word. I got the um, I got the thingy in the in the beast ball. So my mission has been accomplished. Hmm. So yeah, mahalo, Chris, for helping with that. Why do you want me to say those words? That's the last one we needed. Check out these names. Be twerking. Oh hi. Uh, we need one more vote to decide what we do. <laughs> Are we going for Gumi or Lopunny? What are we doing? I am here. Gumi. 
Okay, we need to make a, 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 a sandwich then. I don't want to ask Chris to make a san to make me a sandwich just so that I can like leave to find a Gumi. <laughs> So I can make one. <laughs> Caterers don't always stick around for the party. <laughs> Did I get leak the that that Pokemon? I did. I mean, if you'd be willing to like just let me join a party and then leave, then I I gladly take you up on your charity. Well then, mahalo. So I don't have a active outbreak, but so I'm just gonna like. We just make the same sandwich. And then after this one... I'd like to, um... Make a flying one for, um... For a, um... A rufflet into Braviary. And then if I have time left, I can try and get a, um... A mini -or. I'm in. So we just need to make the same sandwich we did last time. Go. Avocado. Avocado quota has been reached. Free Shivakadu. <laughs> right, uh, mahalo for 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 food. What? <laughs> Orot. Check DMs. Wow.
Ouah. Ouais. What is this? <laughs> Alright, I appreciate your your food. <laughs> Mahalo. Now we need to locate um, Gumi. Goo at me. What are all these little birds? Is that Doss at home? <laughs> oh, probably in here, right? Yep, here we go. Oh, Dreepy is here as well, interesting. I already have a shiny Dreepy there. So we're looking just for a little butterball. This is pretty early in the game, isn't it? You can get Gumi this early? It's really early to give you a dragon type. I mean, like, granted... Oh, Dreepy's here as well, yeah. Granted, they're not very powerful dragon types, but still. That's neat. use here as well. Crikey, they give you a lot. How early you can get dragons? Mm. Flamigo is like one of the best Pokemon for an in-game run of this game, by the way. Like, it's... It's ridiculous stats for a Pokemon you can get so early. You get double kick on it and acrobatics. I don't know how you lose. <laughs> so if you want to speed run this game um Flamigo is probably your your best bet because you can get it so early and it's so strong. Really? Really? You need the floaty. It's like the other day, yesterday, yeah, it had to have been yesterday. We're like, you know, we, we found like... Where, um, where the Smeagol was just on its floaty for no reason. Flamigo is used in speedruns. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I know like in, in earlier speedruns, people tended to use Holucha. Not necessarily for this game, but I believe in X and Y. As soon as you get access to it, you use Holucha, I believe. Yeah. 
So now Hualucha is faster, but Flamigo is probably just stronger. Yeah, I imagine I imagine Flamigo like Flamigo just has it's like Hualucha doesn't have very high um physical attack, but you do get high jump kick and um acrobatics. And unburden, but I guess um Flamigo also has Scrappy, so you can just keep clicking Fighting Move in the face of Ghost Types. Friend. It's a purebred dog. Dreepy is apparently a prehistoric Pokemon. It's like it, it, it's like it's like a ghost of like a prehistoric, like a fossil Pokemon. I remember I've, I made like a fan, like an, I had like a concept for like a fan game and um, for like the fossils, um, they were just existing Pokemon but like there was like lore behind it. So like um, the two fossil Pokemon, so this, this there were new, new Pokemon in this, in this concept. Um, the, the concept was going to be like a take on like global warming. Like was gonna be like the the thing, and like the 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 evil team leader was going to be like a um a well intentioned extremist. Um. So the fossil Pokemon were um were Rhyhorn and Corsola. because of like how how badly, like, the coral reefs are being, you know, bopped, and how rhinos are endangered species. I thought I had a pretty neat solution for the whole, like, you know, regional forms, you know, or their evolutions, you know, get them, like, in their, um, in their region. I was gonna have, like, um... <sighs> yeah, I was asking about the origins of Mouseley, yeah. Okay. Never hurts to check. Oh, apparently someone just said what if Ashley but mouse. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, no, my idea for like how to handle like regional evolution, so like regional variants, would be that um each region so when you go to a um a um an embassy for a different country, right? Inside of the embassy counts as um I 
I beat the game in the DLC and you haven't. Offer some help in these trying times. I don't- what, what do you want? <laughs> Catch a flamingo. <laughs> Sovereign Soul, yeah. So, like, there would be like, you know, a, an Alolan Embassy and like a Galarian Embassy. And like, if you went to the Alolan Embassy and used a Thunderstone on your Pikachu there, it would be Alolan Raichu. And there would be like a, um, there'd be like a small, like, um, like, grassy area. Or like, there would be like a, um, like a trade. Like, there'd be some, like, you know, there'd be someone who'd, like, offer, like, trades for the forms. And, um, um, there'd also be, like, a, um, a daycare, like, because this was before, you know, Scar Violet, you know, got rid of the, day the daycare. Um, there'd be, like, a daycare in each, that, you know, so you could, like, you know, breed Pokemon, and then, like, the... If it was, like, a regional variant, it would be of that... It would be that, that variant. I think our Meowth has two regional forms, yeah? I was half expecting to see like a Paradox Pikachu, but I guess I can see why they wouldn't make one. Paradox Raichu, Paradox Pichu. Iron Mascot. Where to get the spoon? <laughs> Maybe it made it. Tiny droopy. What's a gaming hot take of mine? I've mentioned before how I think, like, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts would have been a killer app for the Xbox if it wasn't a Banjo game. Like, if, if, if Nuts and Bolts was, like, its own IP, I think it could have been a killer app for the 360. To new people, hello, how are you doing? Are you alright? Yo, hi. I don't know if that's a hot take or not. Go crazy if it was a Lego game. Yeah. I guess it's technically a hot take in the Pokemon community to say that I think that Gen 7 were the best Pokemon games. Because apparently a lot of people dislike Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But they're probably my favourite Pokemon games.
You can't transfer your thieve. Your thievel? Yeah, it's because thievel isn't in this game. It's really slow or maybe really punishing. I like there being like a higher, a higher difficulty curve though. Yeah, Thievil isn't in a Scarlet and Violet decks, so you can't transfer it into Scarlet and Violet. Yep, but Thievil isn't in Scarlet Violet, so you can't you can't put it in Scarlet Violet. <clears throat> I I guess like, I just really like the music, the character designs, the visuals. Like, I would love to live in Alola, man. Like, if I'd live in a Pokemon region, or if I could rather, definitely be there. Because I've been to, like, you know, some of the places where, um, you know, that. Um, that that are based off of the like the IRL places. You got lost. How ends your home region? Ah, oh, damn! Saw the lighting. I don't know if this is a hot take, but like I know a lot of people say like Colosseum and Gale of Darkness are like some of the best games in the franchise and they are fun, but they do have some massive flaws that a lot of people might overlook, like for like nostalgia goggles reasons. I mean yeah, it's like um I went to the real, I went to the real life equivalents of um, of Mele Mele and Pony Island. Um, I went to the real world equivalent of um, Haoli City. Um, the music is stellar. The character designs are amazing. Um, and most of my favorite Pokemon are from Gen 7, like Rebombi's my favorite, Pre-Marina and Mimikyu are in my top three, along with Rebombi. But yeah, the problem with um Okay, here's here's my I this might be a hot take. I think Generation 1 are the worst Pokemon games. No, no, that's not true. No. There's some of the, but like um like if we if like if we look at it in a modern context, but um I don't know if this is a hot take. Um I think Diamond and Pearl are the worst games in the franchise. Like, of, of the main series games. That said, Platinum is one of the best entries in the franchise. But Base, Diamond and Pearl are, are the worst games in the main series, in my opinion. I 
expand on that. Um, the the Pokedex choices are really weird, and you get there's like a lot of type specialists who just don't have enough Pokemon of their type, right? Like you know you've got Volkner with an Octillery, you've got um, you got the Ice Gym leader with um, uh, with Medicham, um, the Fire Elite Four member with five Pokemon on his team, only has two Fire types. <clears throat> because if you don't pick Chimcha, your fire type options in Sinnoh are Rapidash. That's it. But that's all you get. Hmm. We're still in like a really weird. We're kind of getting better with like, you know, actually giving Pokemon usable movesets at like realistic levels um but i also just don't like the character designs for the protags i think the protagonist designs are oh here we go we got we're on the floaty on land again um oh no it's a tiny bit of water um Like, Platinum's designs for the Protags are a lot better. Um, <clears throat> the expanded Platinum decks is much better. Like, they really did, like, do a lot of, um... <laughs> yeah. They did some trainer rebalancing, gym rebalancing, like order, like story order rebalancing. I wish there was more, a little bit more to the distortion world. Like there was a reason to go back to it. Um, the as for the um, the GameCube games. Um, because there's such a focus on, in the first game at least, in Colo. <clears throat> because there's such a huge focus on Johto's Pokemon, your available roster of Pokemon is really bad. <laughs> um, unfortunately, a lot of the Johto Pokemon are, like, stat wise, most of them. Have I don't know if most actually a significant amount of them uh, have been given evolutions since Gen three. Um, we're still in an area where it's relatively rare for some reason for Pokemon to have stab and it's like not only is your selection of Pokemon very small the selection of Pokemon available to you in Colosseum is like okay so <clears throat> your starter Pokemon are Espeon and Umbreon and every battle is a double battle right Espeon is probably the best Pokemon in the entire game, and there's no, like, it's it's miles between, you know, the next poke like, the next best Pokemon in the game. <clears throat> so Espeon has... Um, Espeon has a nice base 130 special attack and 110 speed. I think the next best Pokemon is probably, um, Quilava. Um, because... Ah! 
as much as I like Bayleaf and Meganium and Chikorita, they're not. It's not super great for the kind of game that Colosseum is, and um, Croconol is going to be operating off of its lower special attack. And like most of the Pokemon you get access to are like you know like Noctowl, Jumpluff, Ledian, Furret. Like fun Pokemon, but like really lacking in like offensive capabilities. Like Macargo, um, Quagsire. <clears throat> Gale of Darkness also has a similar. Because, like, the level curve is really weird. Like, you get up to, like, you know, level 30-ish, and you're in the final dungeon at level 30, but by the end of the final dungeon, you're in the 50s. So, like, the level curve, like, you spend... From a story standpoint, you spend, like, the last half of the game in, like, the last, like, island, but, like, from a gameplay standpoint, it's, like, the last, like, two-thirds of the game. It is quite slow as well. Um, it's quite linear. And... Because you start at a lower level, um, you start, I think, level, like, 10 or 15, rather than... The 25 of um, of Espion and Umbreon and Colo. Um, there are Pokemon that like evolve later that are extremely punished because they evolve later. Like at the start of the game, you know, you get like Sfeel, which you know becomes Warring in like the 40s. You get um. Snow Runt, which becomes Glalie at 42 for Glalie. You get Lavatar quite early. Um, so it's the, you know, it's not from like 55. Um, again, the best Pokemon are probably like Espeon and Jolteon are probably the best starter picks. Um, they do give you Houndoom very early this time, which is great because bizarrely in Johto, you don't get Houndoom until post-game in, in Kanto. And in Kolo, there is Houndoom, but it's in like the last, the like, is the last few battles. Ah. Um... You get Shroomish into Breloom very early as well, which is great. Um, but... There are some Pokémon that, you know, if you invest in them, they're quite good. Like, if you don't pick Espeon, then Gardevoir is... Gardevoir is really good when you get to Gardevoir, but the, the problem is get, getting to Gardevoir. Um, so as much as I really like Gardevoir, and like, design-wise I like Rolts and Curlia, gameplay-wise, Rolts and Curlia are so bad. <laughs> Their stats are so low. So like, you have to baby Rolts significantly. And you have to really devote a lot of, like, EXP to Curlia. Like, it's feasible. Like, you can do it. They're based on paper dolls. They can take a hit as about as well as one. But, um... It's like, God of War's got really good stats. But... You have to get through... Rolts and Curlia to get the God of War. And Rolts is... Terrible. Curlia is... 
almost stat wise curly is almost strictly outclassed by unknown does get psychic at level 25 and the the gale of darkness one starts with um confusion sing which you can bolster the accuracy of with the call function you get shockwave which you know it's non-stab so stab psychic is better than a super effective shockwave, but you you have it. Oh, rip sandwich. Um. You have reflect, which is kind of uh, your confusion of stab. So you have to do a lot of grinding to get to Gardevoir, but once you get to Gardevoir, you're set. Because Gardevoir is definitely one of the best Pokemon in the game. Like, once you get to Gardevoir. But... You need to invest a lot of time and effort into getting it up to Gardevoir. But they also just give you like a ton of like really useless stuff. Like bizarrely you get like a bunch of like the 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 early early game pokemon like in the last dungeon. Like you get like in like the last like in the second to last dungeon is where they give you Beedrill and like Butterfree and Raticate. In the very last dungeon, they give you Farfetch'd. Altari is the, who? Wait, who's the last Pokemon? If you can't handle me at my Rolts, you don't deserve me at my Gardevoir. True. And as you can see, I I got to Gardevoir, but Getting up to Gardevoir is a lot of effort. You thought Grusha was a pretty lady instead of a pretty man at first? I mean, we all did. I certainly did. Yeah, he turned out to be a pretty boy instead. People who are bi be like, I see this as an absolute win. <laughs> If this game had voice acting, wouldn't it? Are you sure about that? They could have given him a like a, a feminine voice.
Was he a pretty boy with a pocket pistol? No, he didn't have a pocket pistol. He had an Altaria. <laughs> Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol is a scout secondary in Team Fortress 2. Mega, Gigantamax, or Terra? Mega Evolution, 100%. Easiest question. Gigantamax is broken. And... Um... Terra is... It's still one of those things where, like, on paper, it's neat, but in practice, it's... really awkward to play around. They like, yeah, so they don't have to design more unique things, yeah. So they, they liked, they liked Dynamax just because it was like Pokemon but big. And then they made G-Maxes that were unique forms, even if most of the G-Maxes were actually worse than the regular Dynamaxes. Because a lot of the G-Max moves were worse than the Max moves. Expand on that. Um, okay, so one example that comes to mind is um, uh, G Max Machamp. It's fi the regular Max. F Hold on. We got the Butterball. Bye, bye, bye. It's such a good shiny. What? Oh, spore. It's really cute, yeah. Oh, saps. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what does this thing have? Level 20 Gumi. <laughs> Flail Protect Dragon Breath Water Gun. Okay. Bop. Yeah, I'm actually gonna, um...
can bring that along. Welcome back. damage. Look at that, look at that guy, totally unfazed that we found a shiny Pokemon. Oi. Let's give me his catch rate. 45. Oh, we're going to be here a while. If it breaks up the fifth one, we reset. We've still got 21 minutes of sandwich, we could find another one. Does Mew have good stats? I'd, I'd say so, it's 100 across the board. It does have the slight issue of like it being... All of its stats being like a bit too spread out, so it's, it, it's hard to... Is that Mew is 100 across the board, yes. Yeah, so, like, it's not bad stats, it's just it doesn't have any, like, area that it specializes in. It's not Glalie, yeah. But Glalie is such a sad case of a Pokemon. Base 80 across the board. Mono Ice. Evolves at level 42. That's synchronized there. Mega was pity. Yeah. 
I mean, even the Mega, like, they just, well, they gave it, like, 40 to each offense and then 20 speed. So it's, like, 120 attack, 100 speed, right? Like, Weavile... Well, it's 100 speed, 120 attack. Weavile has higher attack and higher speed. It doesn't even need the Mega Evolution. And it's dual typed. You just life to you. The slack off. It's typically better to be a dual type because you have two two stab types and generally you have a wider move pool because you draw from both types. Not always, of course. Like 15 minutes left on Sandwichi. Oh yeah, no, I can't do like raids right now. We're trying to get the funny, the funny, the funny Pokemon. Have a sweet and a spicy. Nice. Yeah, but what 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 how many stars does the raid and what what Pokemon is it? <laughs>
You want to do something for your birthday? Well, why not? You should go to a restaurant you like. Get yourself a table and get the food that you like to get. I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I can get the heating on. Good eye. I thought there was another one. I mean, everyone can catch it. Like, you don't have to give up on catching it so someone else does. Oh, you found an old Pokemon game? Nice! That's awesome! You found a missing Victini. You've been reunited. Stuff.
Do any of N's Pokemon have a special ribbon? Are they untradeable? Um, they, I don't believe they have a special ribbon. In the, in Gen 5 games, they have a unique entry animation sparkle kind of thing. But that doesn't get carried on over to, um, the future games. You can trade them though. Uh. After the sandwich expires, I might start getting ready for bed. Gonna have to call to see if I can get... I think my insurance will cover a tow. I need to get it taken somewhere. Because it's got a flat tire as well. I did text my boss to ask if it'd be okay to take the day off, even though it's so, like, spontaneous. I mean, if they say no, I mean, I guess it wouldn't change much since I, you know, I wouldn't be able to, to drive anyway. I, I really hope that the um, the smoke from the in my car was just because I, I spilt a little bit of oil in the engine. They're well, not on the engine, or in the engine, like on top of like you know just outside of where. Um, of the oil cap, so I'm I'm really hoping that that's what that is. No, I have something that can easily be repaired or fixed. I need to get the oil like drained as well or changed, but I also have um also have a flat tire. My engine didn't explode. No, 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 no. I, 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 I was I added some oil because I had like a low oil light, and when I turned it on, I was running it a bit. Um, the inside, like through my air vents, like my aircon vents, um, there was some smoke and like it smelled of the, the oil and um, and I also ended up with a flat tire somehow. Did get my laundry done though, I did get some food so that's something I guess. L stands for laundry. I did get a lawn I did get the laundry done though, so that's good. I've been I've been meaning to do that for a while. I wasn't like wearing dirty clothes, but, like re-wearing old clothes. Or well, since I run out of clean clothes. So I'm glad I finally uh Finally got that all done. Hey! Bye and bye, bye.
Oh. <laughs> yep, that would do it. If it breaks the fifth one, we reset. I guess we can keep the other one just to have a little Gumi because it's so cute. It's a good shiny. Could evolve the other one just to have a Colosian Gudra. No, you know what? We already got another one in a beast ball. We'll get this one and a love ball. That one can be a Hisuian one, and then this one we can evolve into a Colosian Gudra. Show your brother how fake out works by faking him out.
Really? Hey. Playing by the Rod. Burn by a So we got regular one and we got a beast ball one. And before we evolve that one, we can take them both to Legends of Arceus to get the of the distant past title on both of them. The Goomy. The axolotl? What axolotl? What's the name? I'm gonna call the Colosseum one Butterscotch, just because I usually, I used to always call it Butterscotch. I have to think about what to name the uh, Hisuian one though. Gumbo. Oh, Gumbo. Oh, we didn't need Gumbo. Because they have, um... I wasn't using any Pokemon that had, like, the OT that I wanted to hide. Mouth is clipping through its face.
hole, or would he slip through your fingers if you held him? I think he's probably, like, got a core. Catching, does catching Pokemon give you EXP? It doesn't, does it? Oh, it does. Okay. I just didn't succeed. <laughs> Aggressive bed boy. <laughs> What level does Gumi evolve in this lagoo? Most drastic change in form for a Pokemon evolution? Um, Remoray to Octillery comes to mind. Oh. 
Nah, we're not looking for low punny anymore. Hey, we missed the Remoray to Artillery. <laughs> Trying to evolve this uh, Gumi into the Hisuian counterpart. Good night, Demi. Get globbed. Get globbed. Catching alphas gives you XP candies.
trying to decide on what Pokemon game to get. What, well, what are you looking for? Like, what console are you looking for? Pokémon or Legends Arceus? Um, Pokémon is like Tekken, it's like a fighting game. Legends Arceus is what I'm playing right now. Move mastered. Like, do you like playing like fighting games like Tekken? If so, maybe you could consider Pokémon if you want to like have a the the game where you like you can catch Pokémon and like you know do stuff with them then to get this game. I do really like Legends Arceus, I do think this is a really good game. Like there are things that I wish they did differently. But a Togetic just chilling. The Togetic over there.
level 40 to to sligu. First time distortion. Yeah, that this game has voice acting. It's a small amount of voice acting, but it does have it. I think if we can get Gumi to 38, then I might just use the red candies to get it the rest of the way to Gudra. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, if you press A, you nod. If you press B, you're like, no. Turns around to look at me too. I love the toga kiss like just the spinny. I love Togekiss's new cry. Like Togekiss's cry is one of the new, one of the new, like the changed ones that actually works. Send out multiple Pokemon. I love how, like, you have the tiny Eevee appear. Oh, Cyndaquil.
cargo using hyper beam? Jesus. Carry on. Close come back. Mimic, interesting. The little crackle sound is so satisfying. recall move, I forgot about that. Yeah, in this game, they're not... They're not... Soul care moves, they're just recall moves.
regular style mode here. Small EP. Do you feel more rested? I'm not sure what Sylveon's based on. The vaguely Leonine or uh, the vaguely Kana and a feline.
Jesus. Probably gonna end stream soon, don't worry. Well, mahalo for joining everyone. Hope you all have a good night. If you haven't already, you should like stream. Also, um, check out the links in the description, by the way, for links to my Twitter, my Discord, my FNF mods, the TV trace page for the Law series by Blue Sky, and my Patreon. Um, be sure to have some cereal and a sandwich. Wear a mask, wash your hands, get vaccinated. And until next time! Good boy! <laughs>